I want you to fight right when you're about to give up. I promise you, if you just push through it, so much is more for you on the other side. Yeah! I'm Amwala Caesar, and it has been my dream as a trainer to help people upgrade their fitness and their lives. That's why I created this program called Four Weeks of the Prep. You want to level up your fitness? Maybe you're even looking to take on six weeks of the work. Yeah! Let it out! Well, I hear you, I see you, and now I am here to get you there. Yep. It is time to prepare and tackle whatever that extreme level of training you want to achieve with four weeks of the prep. The prep is a program that will take you from a solid baseline of fitness to being prepared to any advanced program. But depending on your current level of fitness, it may even take you a few rounds of the prep to get truly ready for a program like the work. That's it. Way to be a beast. Because what's most important is we are taking care of you physically and gradually getting you ready for a starting line to the next level. This program is actually based on the same structure as the work. You'll be working out five days a week, plus one rest day and one day that we call active repair. Take this serious. This will set your week up right. During the course of the four week program, you'll rotate between 11 different workouts which range from 30 to 40 minutes in length. I've also added a modifier to help you find the right level where you feel like you can gradually build up to this intensity. Who said the modifier ain't gonna get this work? They lie. Who said somebody <laughs> lied? This is a great program if you're ready to bust through your excuses and make it to the big leagues. Yeah, so you with me? No more excuses. You wanna take on any fitness challenge like a boss? You want to level up the six weeks of the work? Then let's get prepped for it. You earned that sweat. Great job. You're going to want to read up on the Get Started Guide. Follow the workout calendar exactly as it's designed to help prevent injury and to get you the best results. And of course, as I always say, and I'm telling you, yes, you, this part is so important. You got to dial in on your nutrition if you want to see truly visible, amazing results. You can follow the Beachbody Guide to Nutrition, or for a more comprehensive deep dive, I'd like you to incorporate either Ultimate Portion Fix or To Be Mindset to get you ready for the prep. That's so you'll fuel your body for these intense workouts, but also eat in a way that you'll get visible results you're looking for. I want you to get the nutrition your body craves, especially when you're putting in this kind of effort. Shakeology is the baseline, the nutrition foundation of your day and the Beachbody Performance Supplements helps you get through your workouts and keep you coming back day after day. Oh, my Energize kicked in. The Energize kicked in. <laughs> We're not cutting any corners on this one. We're gonna get you trained up and ready, and don't you think it's not gonna be just as explicit when it needs to be. If you've seen any of six weeks of the work, you've heard me keep it real. There will be explicit language yeah, in the know. prep because I'm pushing you. You got this, okay? You gotta go get it. You gotta want it. But there will be a clean version of the program. For this sample workout, I'm gonna keep it clean. So you'll notice my voice disappears if I curse. But when you dive into the program on Beachbody On Demand, be sure to pick the right version for you. Today, I'm gonna take you through a sample workout to help you 100% confirm that you can do this. Every move and every workout you'll do is a variation of the ones we progress in six weeks of the work. You're gonna need light, medium, and heavy dumbbells, strength slides, and resistance loops. They come in three different levels, from light to heavy. A chin-up bar, a chin-up max if you need an extra boost, those are optional. If you don't have a chin-up bar set up, we have a modification for every chin-up move. You should know that when you step into the prep with me, I expect you to push. If you're training to be the best you, then you have to put up the best version of you on the field from start to finish. Get your mindset dialed in so when we work together, everything about you says it's game time. And that's what it is right now. You ready? Let's do this. I hope you took your Energize. You ready? Yeah! yeah. Let's go get it. We got Let's high go. knees in three and two and go. Try. Try those knees all the way up. 
I'm gonna introduce you to the cast. We got Jensen. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. We got Jimmy. Ooh. And we have the beautiful Brittoni. Make Woo! sure you follow Brittoni because she will be your modifier for this duration of this sample workout. We got 10 seconds. Try those knees, try those knees, try, Woo! try, try. In three, two, one, we have a squat, knee pull, squat, knee pull, squat, knee pull. This is four weeks of the prep sample workout. You're gonna get a taste of what the prep is all about. This is going to help you progress and get ready for six weeks of the work. And not only just six weeks of the work, any extreme program that you are trying to accomplish. Okay, so make sure, yo, got that energized in you. And five, four, three, two, stop. We have a crossover hamstring stretch, touch, then bring the opposite leg over, touch your toes. Good. Feels good. Touch those toes. Like I was saying, building this program, this will help you if you want to do a marathon run, if you're trying to get better at sports, if you're just trying to get a better baseline and try to up the intensity and go to the next level of your fitness, try the prep. The prep will get you there. And five, four, three, two, one. I want you to hug yourself right now, okay? Just be proud of yourself because uh, we're going to work. <laughs> we're going to really work. So I want you to be really in tune with yourself and happy. Hug. Hug it. Hug it. We got 10 seconds. Make sure you hug. We're going to go to the first workout in a second. But right now, I want to make sure that you just pay attention, okay? Pay attention to her. And stop. All right, we have push-pull, okay? We're gonna head to the bar. This is a combination of three different workouts, okay? Which in the program are called push-pull and total body push-pull. We have a chin-up three-second release. As you see, Bretoni is just going to curl, drive her knee up, flex that foot, and release. She's gonna hold for three, two, one, release, and do it again. That's what I wanna see. If you have a bar, jump on that bar, no. Swing on that bar, no. Kip on that bar, no. You're just gonna pull your chin over that bar for three seconds, then release. Then go right back up. Make sure it's installed. We have it, five, we have five reps, okay? In five, four, three, two, and pull up on me. There we go. Two, one, and release. Then we're gonna go again. Up, and three, two, one, release. We have three more reps and all the way up. Pull, three, two, one. Good, we got one more. And up, three, two, one. And one more, one more, one more. I know I said one more, but I love doing that. <laughs> and up. Now in six weeks of the work, we hold this for 10 seconds and release, okay? We're building you up for those 10 seconds, okay? So this is just three seconds. Now we have a push-up down dog, okay? So you're gonna head all the way back over here. You're gonna go into a push-up position. I want you to have your shoulders over your wrist. You're gonna float from right here for one inch off the ground into a push-up, then push out, pike that butt up, then go right back. I wanna see a V. Now, if you're mod, just drop down to your knees, do a push-up, come into a high plank, then go. We got 10 reps in three, Two, one, and push up. Pike that butt back up and push up. I want to see a V in that pike, in that down, downward dog. Push up, hold, pike. Do not snake your push up. Now, if you can't do a push up, as you see, Bretoni is right here on her knees, and then she's going up. To go right into that downward dog. Good. Your hair smells amazing. Like, Thank you. Like passion fruit, by the way. <laughs> Good. Two more. Jimmy making sure his shoulders are tracked over his wrist. Last one. And hike. Good job. Now we're heading the legs. Okay, now we're going to build that foundation because we use a lot of legs in six weeks of the work. And don't you hate leg day, okay? So I need you to grab your loop. Now, she grabbed the heavier band, which I love. I mean. She got a good one. So make <laughs> sure your loop has no holes in it. No, in, 
no scratches, and it's all the way set. You're gonna need a set of dumbbells, okay? So we're gonna do a goblet squat. I want you to squeeze those dumbbells together. You're gonna have your feet wide. Drop that butt down into a squat, then push right back up, okay? Tuck those elbows under. We got a mod, less the weight on the band, and also drop the dumbbells. Drop the weight on the dumbbells, okay? We got 10 reps in three, two, one. Drive that butt low, push Ooh. right back up. Drive hey. that butt low, push right back up. Push from your heels, not the really? balls of your feet, and keep your chest up. Push. Try to get that butt down to 90. And if you can bring that butt lower than 90, which Jensen is bringing it below the tibia, <laughs> below the knee, that's awesome. Now, oh. her face may look familiar. Maybe. So you think you can dance? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and last one. Pay attention to her face. And drop those dumbbells. All right, keep those loops on, all right? We have a glute side raise. So, fellas. Yes. We don't want to skip glutes, okay? We never want to skip that. So we're going to balance on one leg, and we're just going to bring our legs out from the side, okay? We're going to work our glutes. We got 10 reps each side. Now, if you are mod, just tap the ground, reset, tap the ground, reset. You ready? Yay. So you think you can lift? Oh. I tried yeah. it. All right, we're going <laughs> in three, two, one and right here, balance, reset if you need to. Balance, reset if you have to. If not, just keep that foot floating, okay? Now Ooh, legs burn. contain some of the largest muscles, so you're gonna burn a lot of calories. You're gonna be able to push. You're gonna be able to work harder on those legs. Last one, and switch, and go! Right here. I want that to be on fire. <laughs> that is gonna be on fire. It burns. My it's already on fire. Ah, woo. Woo. This is two more. We got two more. Last one. Good. Woo. Woo. Good. Shake that, shake that, that booty meat. Oh, I said that out loud. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to endurance and agility, okay? So I want to show you the split, uh, the lunge and curl that we're going to do. Two dumbbells in your hand. We're going to go into a split lunge, okay? So we're going to go back into a lunge curl as you go into that lunge, then switch legs, then switch. Okay? We got 10 reps. I hey. want you to alternate your legs in five, four, three, two, and go. Reverse lunge. That's one. Reset. Reverse lunge. That's two. Now keep both knees at 90, okay? Keep that chest up. Again, we're going to work this endurance. Now, we're also going to get to the agility aspect of this as well. I train my athletes just like this. I want to train you just like this. I'm not skipping corners with you guys. We got one more. Hey, good. Now, move your dumbbells to the side. We're going to go into a split squat knee tap, okay? So, both knees are 90-90. Touch, then switch. Touch, then switch. Now, if you are modifying, just touch. Step up, out of that lunge, go back, touch, step up, out of that lunge. 30 seconds, killers. Let's work in three, two, go. And touch, and step right in. Touch, step right in. Okay, these first two moves are focusing on endurance. And then we're gonna move into agility. But the first two have weighted, and then after, it's no weight. Then after that, we go straight to agility. Good, 10 seconds, switch, switch. Good, four, three, two, one. Good job, Woo. baby, good job, baby. All right, now this is the agility portion, all right? You wanna make sure your space is clear? There's nothing in your way. I'm gonna make sure my space is clear. So, you're gonna hop on one leg you're gonna go in a lateral position. So, you're gonna take one hop, push off into a skater. Make sure you stick that land. I had so much force. Did you see all that force I generated? <laughs> Let me try that again. You're gonna hop, push off. Okay, hop, push off. Now, if you're mod, I like to say the word mod, all you're gonna do a baby hop, step. Okay, baby hop, step. 
swag. Oh. Okay, we're gonna swag it out. We got 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, she liked that move. One, and go. And stay low. Hop, stay low. Hop, stay low. Hop, stay low. Track those shoulders over your knees. Absorb that contact, okay? Get into your land. I wanna see you get into the land. Dive into your land. Good, if you are my, you're not gonna touch the ground with that back foot. You're just gonna keep floating that back foot. You have five seconds. Two, one, great damn job. Woo, great woo. job. Now, hey. we got full body tempo, baby. Wanna know what that means? You gotta keep up with my pace. I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna slow it down. Keep up, we got a split press. Grab your medium-sized dumbbells. I'm gonna just grab my heavy dumbbells, okay? So, <laughs> we're gonna go into a split. You're gonna be on a split squat. You're gonna start here, rack those dumbbells to your shoulder. As you go up out of this split, press right back down. I'm gonna change the tempo, okay? Ooh, ooh. We got five reps per side. <laughs> we're gonna start in three, two, one, and up, one, down, two, now slower, three, four, last one, five, good, we're switching. Nice. Now, faster, up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, now slow, five. <laughs> That's just Woo! a sample, Yay. did you keep up? I hope you <laughs> kept up, okay? Oh yeah. We got slider pikes, same principle. I'm gonna change the tempo. Put your feet in the center of the slides. We're gonna go down into a high plank. I'm gonna ask you to go up, then come right back down. Actually, just follow my pace. I'm not gonna say nothing. If you are the mod, get down on your forearms. Pay attention to Brit Brit. Beep, beep. Let's go get it. We're moving. 10 reps, three, two, one and up, slow coming down. This is our tempo. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay, how's it working? Jensen, are you with me, Jensen? I am. At home, are you with me? How you feel, Jen? It feels wonderful. Okay, Jen, you had a deep voice, Jen. <laughs> Last one, pike, good. Oh. Great job. Woo! I'm already sweating. Hey. I'm already sweating. Now, we are moving to strength and power. These two moves are hybrids. We're gonna do resistance training and we're gonna do plyo training, okay? Woo! I'm already out of breath. Grab your DB skaters. Grab your dumbbell. I said grab your DB skaters. I already gave it away. <laughs> it was supposed to be a secret. All right, guys, one dumbbell. Rack that dumbbell to your shoulder. Again, put your weight on one side. You're gonna go into a skater. Keep your head up. Diagonally bring that dumbbell across your body. Push off and 10 reps. Now, if you're mod, just step, okay? Step, right back. Step, right back. Oh. 10 reps first side. Oh. Look at that. I think Tisha just loves the way I dance. I do. She's a dancer, I'm a dancer. Really I'm do. not a dancer. And three, two, one, and go. One, two, how far did you go on so you think you could dance? Three. I was a runner up. Four, you was the runner up. I was a runner up. Five, that's not some, quite the winner. They didn't pick you. <laughs> hey, that's what I think. Seven, some, <laughs> eight. If you're watching this, y'all some, last one. <laughs> And stop, we're switching. Ooh, hey. You have my vote any day. Let's Thanks, go. Thanks, thank you. Three, two, go. That back leg is floating. If you're modifying this move, you're stepping, float. Okay? Just step and float. Nose and face is running. Woo. Two more. Last one. Even the modifier is sweating. And huh. stop. Who said you wasn't gonna work? <laughs> Who said you wasn't gonna work? Morris, we got a sledge jammer. You need one dumbbell for this. We're going to pivot on the inside of our leg into a lunge. So you're gonna pivot, go into a lunge, jam at the same time. Bring it back to your chest, turn, pivot, 
bring it right back to your chest. Okay, if you're mod, drop the weight, lessen the weight. I keep saying drop. Don't want to drop it on his hose. And less range of motion. We're going. Three, two, one, and pivot. Reset. Reset. Good. Now this is looking like a dance step right here. We're so in sync right now? We are. Okay. Let's keep going. Guys, push yourself. I know this is just a sample workout, but you could also bust your ass in this sample workout. And stop. Ooh. Good job. Catch your breath. Ooh. Okay. You don't need your hydrate for this one. Let me get this. Ooh. Let me have some real quick, because we don't need this. Mm -mm -mm. So, we're going to the cardio core section. All right? It doesn't matter what we do if we can't put it to play. And who doesn't like cardio? I don't. <laughs> we got a two-inch run with a squat hold. So, you're just going to go here. I'm going to say hold. Drop down into a squat. Once I say go, you pop right back up. You go all over again, okay? We got 60 seconds of glory. Yeah. 60 seconds of work. Let's do it. Jason, you ready to work? I yeah. Am ready. You ready to work? Go. Jimmy, come on. I keep saying Jensen, and you always answer for her. I'm, I'm her biggest fan, man. Let's okay. Go. He's ready to work. <laughs> Are you ready to work? Oh. Let's go get it. 60 seconds of a two inch run and three, two, one and go. Dry those feet. Dry those feet. Move those arms. Move those arms. Move those arms. Hold. Go. That's what I want. Don't you move until I say hold. Go. Good. Move those damn feet. Get those feet tapping. Hold. Go. Woo. <laughs> These agility drills will help you build speed, baby. Okay, without, without speed, you can't move your power. Woo. I want to see you moving. Hold. Hold. Go. <laughs> faster, Jimmy. Faster, Jimmy. Hold. Ha. Ha. Let's go. Jimmy, you're a marathon runner, right? Sometimes. This ain't sometimes. This ain't nothing to you. Hold. 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 Woo. You got 15 seconds, baby. Let's Hold. Go. Hold. Ha. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. More those feet. Give me everything you got, baby. Hold. Up. Now keep going. In three. Two, one, great job. Woo! 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 That was cardio, we need that cardio, okay? We got that core, okay? We got a stepping bear, not a drunken bear, a stepping bear. Let me show you. High plank. You're gonna go into a high plank. My shoulder's gonna stack over my wrist. I'm just gonna walk my knees all the way to my hip, then release right back. The stepping bear, not drunken bear. I don't want to see this. Your hips turning. Now, if you're the mod, you're just going to step your knees to your hips, then drop, then come right back up, walk it back, okay? We got 30 seconds, team. Y'all ready? Woo! Yes. No grab a mat, grab your kids, grab your wife, grab whatever you need. We're going in three, two, one, and go. She's walking it back, walking it forward, drop her knee. Then right back up. Good. Back is flat. There's no curve. She's bringing her knee all the way to her hip. Okay. Abs are made in the kitchen, guys. Now, it does not matter how many crunches you do. It doesn't matter what you do, how much cardio you do. If your nutrition is horrible, you're not going to get the abs. Okay. It just won't happen. And three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Woo. Now we're going to isometrics. I love this, okay? We're gonna slow it down a little bit, but do not let this confuse you because every second is going to matter. We have uh, one dumbbell, we got a side plank snatch. Actually, do I want a towel now? Yeah, I'm gonna grab a towel. <laughs> so, we're gonna go into a side plank. I got my heavy dumbbell. You're going to balance up in this iso hold. The only thing we're gonna do is manipulate it with the snatch. So. Bring that dumbbell right over the shoulder. Bring it right back down to the ground. Guys, if you are the mod, just bend one knee, put it to the ground, then press all the way up. The work doesn't stop, baby. Let's go get it. Get 30 it. seconds in three, two, go. Good. Tap the ground. Press all the way up. Tap the ground. Press all the way up. Tap the ground. Now, this is 
You are recruiting more muscle fibers, okay? This is time under tension. There is no break. Your obliques are feeling it right now. You're not getting a break. Keep that waist up high. Every second of the hold is gonna build strength and endurance. And three, two, one, switch. Okay. Good. Almost now, like I said, this is less contact on the body. And let's go get it. Three, two, go. Press. This is less pressure on the joints. You're still getting a great workout. You're still engaging those muscles. You're still growing those muscles. We're just slowing it down just a little bit. And this is what you'll find in four weeks of the prep. And you'll find this in the work as well. Okay? We almost there, killers. Good. Ooh. Press that dumbbell right over the shoulder. Right over the shoulder. Ooh. Three, two, Ooh. one. Great job. Now, Ooh. this one, I'm going to recommend grabbing medium or light, but no heavy, okay? We got an ISO kickback. So I'm, oh, they just, I'm good with this weight. I'm, I'm going to man up and get it. So I want you to hinge at your hips, bring those elbows tucked in. I want your chest to be parallel to the ground. You're just going to bring one dumbbell in, push it right back out. I want your pinkies to be high to the sky, arms closed together, keep those elbows tucked. We got 30 seconds, hinge at the hip, keep those dumbbells iced, all the way out and flexed, and three, two, one, we're just gonna release, kick back, release, kick back, flex those triceps, okay? Every time you bring this in and extend, you are engaging your triceps. Just want you to get ready for Aspen. You're halfway there. You're almost skiing. Okay. I'm preparing you for Aspen okay. or whatever trip that you're going to take. We want those triceps to be ready. All right. Five, four, three, head up, two, one, and good. good. We ain't done yet. Right. Now, you're gonna need two slides because we just, we just made it to the crucible. Now, I want you to pay attention to this because the crucible progresses. We have a slider burpee. Put your feet in the center of the slides. You're gonna jump your hands down to the ground, go into a push up, come right back up, okay? Jump your hands down to the ground, push up, stand right back up. If you're modifying this, I just want you to bring your hands to the ground, walk it back, walk it back, walk it up, walk it up, stand, okay? No push up. We got 15 reps. Let's go get it. Go. In five, four, Three, two, one, and drop. Now, I talk about the crucible because we are building up for this crucible. Now, right now we're doing 15, but you never know. In the six weeks of the work, we might do 50. We might do 100. What? Yeah, we're gonna work that way. Now, another thing is this entire program is building you up for the crucible. I wanna know that you have worked your ass off to get here, all right? This is you versus fatigue. I want you Woo. to push through and do as many as reps as you can without stopping. That's what we're building for. Five, right back down. Four, good, right back down. Three, good. Last two, two, walk it through. Last one, if you're the modifier, walk it back and walk it up. Woo. Good job, good. Dang. Now, we got to take oh, care of our Lord. body, okay? Move your slides. We got range and repair. This is in so, so, so important. Grab one mat. Grab one slide. Oh, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. What a great guy he is. Thank you, brother. All right. So, again, range and repair. I will say this over and over. This is so important. You can start your week with range and repair. You can end your week with range and repair. But do not neglect this, okay? All right? So... We're gonna do thread the needle. One hand's gonna be on your slider. You're gonna go into a tabletop position. You're just gonna bring it under one hand, stretch it all the way through. You're gonna feel it stretch in your mid back and your thoracic. I just want you to drive it all the way through. Try to go as low as you can. We got 30 seconds each arm and three, two, one, and slide it through. Good. Guys, you can do this workout multiple times a week. You don't have to just do it once. 
I actually prefer you to do it at least two to three times during the week. If you had a crazy leg day, which I might do that. I want you to do range and repair. Add that into your program. That will help you. Or if you're just trying to loosen up your day, just put this on and do it. And three, two, one, and switch. Good job. And three, two, and go. Full stretch through. Good. Feel that nice stretch in your lat and that mid back. You should feel it right here. Stretching, 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 and right into your lat. Good job. Great job. You're halfway there. Keep going. This is so imperative. This could help you with just chronic disorders. It can help you with hip problems. It can help you with back problems. It's the small things that you do every day that will make you better, okay? And stop. All right. So next move, grab that slide. We have a piriformis stretch. You're going to put this on one foot. You're going to bring it right back here. You're going to go back into that tabletop position. Your foot's in the center of the slide. You're going to bring it directly outside of you. Stretch it right out. Then wrap that foot right back in. Come up. Then go into a lunge, half kneel position. Going for it to stretch out that hip flexor. Then you just go right back into a hamstring stretch. Nice little stretch in that hamstring. Let's stay on this side. Let's go get it. 30 seconds. Three, two, go. And full stretch. Ooh, yeah. I felt that. Good. Push all the way forward. Now, kick it right back. Get that nice stretch in the hamstring. Yes. Then reset. Good. Good. Now, you're a dancer, Jensen, right? I am. Obviously, we know that. <laughs> Do you even feel this stretch? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. she feels I'm it. I'm just going a little bit further than you, she's but... Oh, she's making us all look bad. <laughs> Let's keep going. She's making us all look... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I don't even feel as confident anymore. I'm joking. I take it as competition. I'm gonna get better at mine. We got one more, guys. Stretch it all the way through. Woo! Wrap it on in. Bring that foot forward. Stretch that hip ah. flexor. Now let's go hit that hamstring. Let's hold it. Okay. Three, two, and let's switch Three, over. Two. Bring it on over. And we're starting now. <laughs> Stretch it all the way through. Oh. Wrap it on in, come up to a half kneel position, push forward, now push back, stretch that hamstring out. Man, that's a, such a great stretch. Keep going, guys. Such a great stretch. Now, as a marathon runner, I'm sure this comes in handy many times. Definitely. You want to be prepared. You want to be ready. You want to prep your day, obviously. Again, guys, you can use this prep for anything. Whatever sport you're in, whatever competitive sport you're in, you can use this prep to get you ready for anything. I get a lot of questions, especially from marathon runners. This guy here runs an ultra marathon, right? A hundred miles. That's a lot of running. A lot of walking and crawling, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to worry about. Oh, gotta worry about wolves and tigers and bears. Usually just coyotes. <laughs> Three, two, one, and great job. Now we're gonna stretch out our triceps, okay? Move that mat, clear your space. Just do not step on it, all right? Now, just bring one hand over. You're gonna grab that elbow, pat yourself on the back, make that ugly face that I make every time, and then switch. I want you to really pull that elbow, really get a nice pull in that, because we worked your triceps, especially with those slider burpees. Oh, I make the weirdest faces. I promise you. <laughs> Good. We're going to do one more each side. Let's keep cooling down. Let's bring it all the way through. Last one. Last pull. Good. Great job, guys. Woo! Great job, we guys. That was four weeks of the prep. You see? You did it. All it takes is a little action to create the reaction of getting stronger mentally and physically so you can kill any workout and get amazing results over time. This is what we do when we are dedicated to using everything we have to change our lives. This is how I get my clients to progress daily. But I want you to start seeing results today and be ready to take on any program, whether it's this one, six weeks of the work, you name it. 
That's why I put this program together for you. That's right. I did this for you. But let's stop talking. Let's get you committed to a start date and to looking and feeling better because you stepped up for yourself. It's time for four weeks of the prep and it's time for you to take it to the next level. Let's go, baby! Ha, 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 ha.